Humanity is racing back to the moon and investments in space exploration are skyrocketing. The so-called lunar economy is democratizing new frontiers for startups with interplanetary ambitions. And one of them hopes to offer the UK its first lunar lander by 2021. Let's take a look. Once the sole dominion of governments and military complexes, space exploration in the 2020s is opening up worlds of opportunity within the private sector. UK-based startup Spacebit has its gaze firmly fixed on the moon. Our company is five years old. You've been working in a stealth mode for quite a few years. And now there was a time to reveal our two exciting projects. One of them is a space moon rover, and another one is a lander. It's actually a first ever lander which can fly again and reland at a different location on the moon. We will be developing this in UK and we'll be bringing our spider for the test in UAE in spring 2020. Our first launch of this lunar spider will happen in 2021. But with such huge overheads for research and development phases in this field, is it really commercially viable for a startup? Commercially, it's very interesting that we believe in the lunar economy, we believe in building it, we believe in extracting mineral resources uh, on the moon surface as well in the near future. But also, if you think about it, the moon might be a very interesting spot to ultimately go somewhere else, to go to Mars. In a few years' time, we want to successfully land our lunar rover on the moon and then followed by the lunar lander. So we'll be in a position to offer commercial opportunities for other companies to fly with us to the moon. And not only companies, but also governments that will position us as a leading company in aerospace and one of the companies who are able to take payloads to the moon. And we are planning to sell our cargo capacity. So at the moment, projections are one kilogram of the payload will cost around one million US dollars. With investors predicting the space economy will reach one trillion US dollars by 2030, a sector that was once pie in the sky for any startup is now tantalizingly within reach. Well, that is a wrap of Business Line for this month, but be sure to join me again next time for a roundup of the biggest business and investment stories from around the world. I'll catch you then.